Hello, I'm Svetlin Nakov from SoftUni and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In this lesson, I will briefly explain and demonstrate the concepts of OOP, the Object Oriented Programming, which is basically the concepts of using classes and objects to model the real world in your programming language. I will explain the concepts of classes, which define the structure for the objects, data fields, which hold data, properties, which provide access to data fields, and the concepts of object state, as well as the actions, which defined in the classes are called methods in OOP. I will show some live coding examples in C-sharp and JavaScript, where I will do the following. I will define a class, I will instantiate objects from this class, then I will access the object's data and call the methods of the object. Later, I will explain the concepts of inheritance, interfaces, and abstract classes in OOP and give you a real-world example. I will define an abstract class with an abstract method in it and I will inherit this base class into two child classes where I will overwrite the inherited abstract methods to provide a specific implementation. Finally, I will demonstrate how to use this abstract class and the child classes. Watch this video lesson to learn the main concepts of object-oriented programming explained briefly, concisely, and in simple words. Object-oriented programming, OOP, is the concept of using classes and objects to model the real world. Classes are sets of data fields together with methods, which are functionally uh, to, designed to interact with the data fields and other objects. Classes define the structure of information objects, the data they hold and the operations they can perform. Objects are the instances of the classes, holding certain values in their data fields. At the example, we have a definition of the class rectangle. It holds data fields, uh, width and height, uh, integer values. It defines a method uh, holding the code to calculate the area of the rectangle. This is the class definition and the programming language doesn't matter here. The, these are the definitions of the data fields which the class holds in each object and there are methods of the class, the operations or actions that objects of this class can do. And now we have several objects of this class rectangle. The first uh, object is a rectangle uh, of width 5 and height 6. Another object has width 6 and height 4. Some other object has width 7 and height 3. We have one class rectangle and three objects or instances of this class. The class holds the definition or the specification, the model, the template for the objects. It defines the data fields, uh, the methods, uh, and more details in some cases. Some classes don't hold data. They hold a data definitions. Uh, classes don't hold data. They hold data definitions and operation definitions. Objects hold values. Uh, for the data fields in the class. Objects of class rectangle hold data about certain rectangle. Objects are information structures holding data. Typically, one class has multiple objects or instances. Classes and objects are the building blocks of the object-oriented programming, OOP and they come together with some other OP concepts like abstraction, interfaces, data encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, and exception handling. I have prepared examples of classes and objects in C Sharp and JavaScript. We can open the JavaScript uh, example wait a bit uh, for the code to load. It takes time. Uh, 
Now we click run and we see several rectangles, objects of class rectangle together with their data field values and the calculated area. The rectangle area is calculated by the method calc area in the class. This is the class definition and this is how we create objects. I will not be able to get into more details at this moment. Now the concept is important, not the implementation and the code. The concept is that in programming we define classes which model real-world entities. They hold data, properties and operations just like in the real world. Objects are instances of the class definition with certain data characteristics just like objects in the real world. We shall learn more about defining and using classes in the object-oriented programming course at SoftUni. We have the same code in C Sharp, uh, which works in a very similar way. If you are curious, you can look at the sample code in detail and play with it. In this section, I will explain the concepts of inheritance, interfaces and abstract classes in the OOP, together with a real-world example. I will define an abstract class figure with an abstract method calc area in it and I will inherit this base class into two child classes, circle and rectangle, where I will override the inherited abstract method to provide a specific implementation for the area calculation. Finally, in a live coding demo, I will demonstrate how to use this abstract class and the derived child classes. Inheritance and interfaces are two other major concepts in the object-oriented programming. Inheritance allows classes to inherit data and functionality from a parent class, also called base class. Uh, when a class inherits another class, the parent class fields are merged with the child class fields and they together form the set of data fields for the child class. Interfaces this define abstract actions. This, there are, uh, these are actions to be implemented in the descendant classes. Interfaces define a set of empty or abstract methods uh, or actions which shall be obligatory implemented in the child classes. Interfaces are also called contracts because they define certain set of functionalities, a contract to implement certain methods. Abstract classes uh, are used to model abstractions. For example, the class figure uh, is not a concrete figure like square or rectangle, but the concepts or the abstraction figure. Abstract classes define data plus actions plus abstract actions. Uh, actions are normal methods and abstract actions are empty methods. Abstract classes are designed to be inherited or extended. Concrete classes like circle and rectangle represent real entities, not abstractions. Concrete classes define data fields plus uh, concrete functionality or methods. They can implement interfaces and inherit abstract and other classes. In this example, we demonstrate abstract classes and concrete classes. This is an example of abstract class which models an abstraction figure. It defines two data fields, X and Y. It defines also an abstract action or method for calculating the area of the figure. 
this method is empty or abstract uh, because it is specific to the concrete figure, figure like circle or rectangle. In the child class or descendant classes, uh, this abstract action will become concrete. It will hold the code to calculate a circle area or rectangle area or other uh, depending on the concrete figure. This abstract class models the generic abstraction figure and child classes will determine the type of the figure. This is the definition of the base abstract class. Don't focus on the programming language. We talk about concepts now. This is the definition of uh, an abstract method which returns an integer value. Again, don't care about the programming languages. Uh, different programming languages have different syntax, but the concepts remain the same. This is an example of child class circle, a class which inherits from the abstract class figure. It inherits the fields X and Y from figure and appends the additional field radius. This way, the child class has three fields, two inherited from the parent class and one defined additionally. The class circle defines a concrete implementation of the abstract method calc area, which calculates the circle area using the well-known formula from the school level math. This is an example uh, definition of another child class rectangle, which inherits from the same base, base class figure. The rectangle class defines two additional fields, width and height. It provides different concrete implementation of the calc area abstract method, uh, which calculates the rectangle area. This is a very good example of abstract and concrete classes. Abstract classes uh, model common or generic data and functionality and concrete classes model concrete entities and concrete implementations of the abstract actions from the parent class. The programming languages doesn't matter. This configuration of parent class plus child classes is an important concept from the object-oriented programming, which we shall learn in detail later in SoftUni. This example illustrates two main object-oriented programming concepts, inheritance and polymorphism. These are complex concepts and here I just want to mention them. We shall learn them later with a lot of practice. We can play with the example that I have prepared to illustrate abstract classes and inheritance. Uh, abstract class figure plus two child classes circle and rectangle. Let's see this in Repoid. I will open the first code link and it takes some time to load. Now I run it, the code and the result is shown on the right. We have two objects, a rectangle and a circle. Which have certain location, size and their area is also calculated and printed. This is the base class figure. And this is the child class rectangle. And this and the child class circle. And this is how we use these classes. 
I will not spend more time to explain this sample code in detail because I just want to briefly introduce the idea of inheritance uh, in the object-oriented programming, uh, not to teach you writing object-oriented code in JavaScript, C-sharp or other language. For those of you who are more curious, uh, you can look at the sample code in detail and play with it. Hey, did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the Warner's community at softuni.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free. Join now. Softuni.org.